So for your test, you're going to want to read the directions and see right here where I have underlined, it says adding and subtracting polynomials. So remember that the only time that you're going to use the box is when you're multiplying binomials. So this one is adding and subtracting, so you're not going to put this into the box. You're simply going to combine like terms. So I see a 2a squared, and a squareds like to hang out with other a squareds, and I don't see any other of those, so it can't combine with anything. So I know I have 2a squareds. And here I have three a's, and over here I have an a by itself, so it's implied that there's one a there. So those combine to give us four a's, because four plus one, and three plus one is four. So I've got four a's, and then I've got a negative five here and a negative five here. And remember that negative five plus negative five gives us a, bigative, a bigger negative, so therefore it's negative 10. And taking a look at that, I can't combine any other terms, so that would simply be my final solution. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this one, and it, remember that this one has a subtraction sign between these two polynomials, so therefore we cannot put this one into the box. We're going to combine like terms, but this one's a little different from number seven because this one has a minus sign. So what we're going to do here is imagine that there is a negative one in front of that. So we're going to distribute or rainbow the negative one to the 2x to the fourth. So it basically just turns it into, if it's a positive, now it's going to turn into a negative. So now it's negative 2x to the fourth. And then that negative one is also going to be multiplied to this negative 9x squared, making it positive 9x squared. And then I'm going to rewrite the left-hand side of the equation so we can see if we have any like terms that still need to combine. All right, so let's start with the biggest exponent. I see 12x to the fourth is our biggest exponent here. <clears throat> so looking over here, I see I have a negative 2x to the fourth. So those are going to combine 12 minus 2 to give me 10x to the fourth. I don't know what's wrong with that 10. It's really sad. Okay, so, and then I look for other like terms, and I see here that I have a negative 3x squared and a positive 9x squared, so 9 minus 3 is going to give me a positive 6x squared, and those are not like terms, so I cannot combine those any further, so that's going to be your final solution for number 8. All right, notice number 9 is... Um, one subtraction problem here and one addition problem here. So let's do the same thing that we did in the last problem and distribute a negative one to everything so we don't have to subtract. We'll keep everything positive. So a negative um, multiplied by a 2x squared makes it negative 2x squared. And then negative one times negative five gives us positive five. And then I'm just going to rewrite the rest of the terms and take them out of the parentheses and see what like terms I have so I can combine them. So I wrote 3x plus 8, and I've got the middle terms, and now I've got plus x squared plus 7x minus 1. So let's work with our biggest exponent first, and that looks like we have x squared. So I have negative 2x squared here, and those combine to give us a positive x squared here. So together, they combine to give us a negative 1x squared, and you don't have to put the negative 1. You can just simply put negative x squared if you wanted to. Um, so let's look at the next biggest exponent. So it looks here like I have a 3x and a 7x, so those are going to combine to give me 10x's. <coughs> and then here I have a positive 8 positive 5 and a negative 1. So 8 plus 5 gives me 13. 13 minus 1 gives me a positive 12. So negative x squared plus 10x plus 12 would be your correct solution on that one. All right, notice the directions on number 10. This one says multiplying polynomials. So Anytime, remember that we are multiplying binomials, we're going to put it into the box. But this one right here is just an opportunity for us to distribute or rainbow the 2x onto everything inside of the parentheses. So we're going to multiply 
2x times 3x. So remember to multiply the numbers like you have already been taught how. So 2 times 3 is 6. And then remember when we're multiplying exponents because we have like bases, we're going to add the exponents. So I have an implied one here and an implied one here. So I have a total of 6x squares. And then 2 times negative 4 is going to give me negative 8. And then x times 1 is going to give me that. So now look to see if I can combine any like terms here, and I can't. So that would be my binomial answer of number 10. Okay, number 11 asks you to multiply. And notice that I have two binomials here. So now we can use our box method. So we're going to draw a 4 by 4 box because I have two binomials. And I'm going to put this first one on top here. So I have a y. And it's very important that if um, you are subtracting within your binomial like that, that you put the negative sign that connects to that number directly on in the top pop of the box. So now I have this y that went here and this negative 8 that went here. And now I'm going to put this binomial onto the left-hand side. So I'm going to have a y and a 7. <clears throat> so I'm doing y times y, which is y squared y times negative 8. Make sure you keep that negative with this box right here. So negative 8y. And then I have 7 times y, which is going to give me 7y. And then, and then in the last part of the box, I have 7 times negative 8. So a positive times a negative is going to be a negative. So I've got a negative 56 here. And now I need to look to see if I have any like terms within my boxes. And I have a negative 8 squared here, and a po I'm sorry, a negative 8y and a positive 7y. So those two are going to combine. And a negative 8 combined with a positive 7 gives us a negative 1y. So we can just pull that out as a negative y. And our biggest polynomial here is part of the polynomial is y squared. So that comes out of the box. And then I'm also going to add this negative 56 right here. And so and then I check to see if I have any like terms. And I don't. So my final solution is y squared minus y minus 56. All right, number 12 is also multiplying binomials. So this would be a good time to use your box. Remember, you can also FOIL using first, outside, inside, last if you want to, but I just think this keeps everything more organized. So we're going to put our 2a and our positive 1 on the top and our 2a minus 1 over here on the left. And now we're going to multiply these two to give us 4a squared and these two to give us 2a, those two to give us a negative 2a and negative 1 times a positive 1, which is going to give us a negative 1. So let's look for our biggest exponent, which is 4a squared. And I don't have any other like terms with that. And the next one I'm going to deal with is the a's. And notice that I have a negative 2a and a positive 2a. So that's like saying negative 2 plus 2. And that means our a's go away. So we don't need that middle term. And then it turns into negative 1. So that would be your final answer for number 12.